Hi, my name is Basti, and today we are going to be working on the Mega Base right here. But before that, you see, in the last episode, we built this area right here a beautiful little farming homestead. And this little farming area right here hides a little bit of a secret. Look, if you go down here, we have a potato farm and this thing is pumping out goods. We've got more potatoes than I would know what to do with. We're almost out of space. This thing is producing potatoes like crazy, which is a good thing. And you might say, wow, Bastard, this building is so cool. It's so amazing that you got so much potatoes now. And I'm like, yeah, so cool. But it has created a little bit of an issue right here. How, how did this happen? I'm a stinking hoarder. Look at all of these chests. This chest monster is out of control. And so before we get to work on the mega base, how about we do a little bit of a cleaning montage? Let's do that, yeah. Now look at what a little spring cleaning can achieve. This cleaned up real nice, huh? I have been holding off on doing this area because of my chest monster. And now that it's gone, the area is finally, finally finished. And look at this. It cleaned up so nice. Now it is a part of the city. And it's also very, very pretty. And in fact, I did happen to get a little bit carried away, as tends to happen when I build stuff. And I realized that I always wanted to have a staircase leading down here. And well, then I had a staircase and then I thought, well, the, the staircase got to lead somewhere. So now there's a now there's a little road here. <laughs> and once I got over here, I thought, well, uh, maybe there should be a bridge. Yeah, maybe there should be a bridge over to this place, to the farm area. So there's a bridge here now and I've covered that area and... I have a problem. It absolutely seems like whenever I get going, I just can't stop building. I keep adding stuff everywhere, like this thing. I wasn't supposed to do all of this. I was gonna do a little bit of a windmill was the original plan. And then, well, it looked a little bit naked, so I added a house, and then the house needed a road, and then that needed a road, and then I felt a little cheap just going there, so I went up this way, and now there needs to be an area right here, and you know, it just keeps going, don't it? It just keeps going, all the projects everywhere, man. And speaking of projects, we do have another one right about, uh, here. And it's a little bit of a big one. You see, this right here is my mega base project, and this is what I want to be working on today. So, first things first. These types of things does not build itself, and they certainly do not gather the materials themselves. I have tried. So far, this is what's happened. And this is all just leftover stuff. None of the stuff I need for the building. So, why don't we go around and gather some materials, huh? We're going to need them after all. Otherwise, there will be no building here. So let's go gathering. Right. Now, first off, I would just like to gather some of the materials already lying around my base. Like some cactus, which I can smelt into green dye in my super smelter right here. 
And while that is smelting, we can go ahead and gather some more materials. First off, we're going to need some gravel and sand to make ourselves some concrete. Unfortunately though, it seems we're running a little bit low on sand. But that is a problem easily fixed, because there's always more sand. And we can always go digging. And you know what? We do love some digging right here on the Basta Channel, don't we? Guys, but I hate gathering sand. It sucks. <clears throat> yeah, right. Uh, with the sand gathered, we also need some terracotta, which is going to be really useful in what we're going to do later on. We're also going to need some bamboo, so I spent some time absolutely demolishing a jungle for all of its bamboo. It was a good time. I really enjoyed it. Or at least that is the impression I want to give off in this YouTube video. Oh, and it was probably around this time where I died and lost all of my things and ended up in hell. But when in Rome, so while in hell, we spent some time looking for some ancient debra. And we did find some! Amazing! With that found, we need to smelt it so we can actually get back our netherite pickaxe. And uh, we're gonna need some shovels as well, so, you know, I'm doing what I can here. And right about now, I'm really starting to worry about my emerald stocks. They're running kind of low. Unfortunately though, there's nothing I can really do about that right now. So off we go gathering some XP, naming some of our new tools and converting some diamond to netherite. After that, I'm gonna need to gather some clay for some brick walls and bricks and all that good stuff. Man, this is a long gathering montage and it keeps going. Look at this stuff. Amazing, and once I spend some quality time with my concrete maker, it's time to do like the Welsh and have some fun with the cheeps. And with the wool gathered, I'd say pretty much complete. That is absolutely correct, Gathering Montage Basti, thank you. We are actually just about ready to get building. And look at all the stuff we've got. We've got a lot of green wool. We've got some sand, which we're not gonna use. We've got some bricks. We've got some granite. Might need more of that, but there's more lying around, so that's fine. We've got some moss. We've got a lot of tough bricks. We've got a lot of bamboo. We've got some green terracotta, lime terracotta, some green concrete powder, and some green concrete. And that is just about all we need, I hope. If not, well, then I'm just going to have to stop and gather some more, don't I? But for now, I really, really want to get building on this mega base. So, Editor Basti, put on some absolutely banging music and let's start a time lapse in three, two, one, let's go! Turns out building a mega base is a bit more involved than I initially thought, even though I've built like four or five before. I don't know why I thought this one would go faster, but we do have some progress to show for it. Look at this. One of the towers is semi-complete because, well, it's going to go higher than this. Although this still is actually pretty good progress on the base. Just a, a couple of more of these episodes and we're there. That's this single part took me embarrassingly long. I don't want to tell you how long I spent on it. So we'll leave it at that. 
Man, are we gonna finish this mega base ever? <laughs> no, I, no, we will. Of course we will finish it. That won't be a problem. Determination is, after all, my middle name. Basti, Determination... I don't have a last name, I'm just realizing. Uh, anyways, you know what? This is a good progress, although if we look at the scale of the thing... We've barely made a dent, people. We've barely made a dent. In fact, there is something I would like to show you, or do, rather, in this episode, to show you how much of a dent we've made, okay? So just have a look at this, people. Just have a look, okay? People, what you are looking at right now is a tangled mess of a wireframe of the mega base I'm going to build right here. This is the final size of the mega base. And if you come with me right here, you can kind of see that it's going to be fairly tall. This is going to be a massive, massive building. I am really looking forward to building it. And as you can see, this is a test station. This is a Basti Plays Minecraft test station. This is a base where they had some sort of experimentation going on. What type of experimentation? Well, uh, I don't know. Stick around and you might find out, huh? I think this is going to be a really, really, really cool base once it's done. But as you can see, we have some building ahead of us, and it's going to take not only one or two episodes, this is going to be a few. As I know I spent this week grinding my butt off on this stuff and gathering the materials for it, and I can tell you it was a slow progress. And most of the materials we're going to gather in the future is going to be a little bit more difficult to get a hold of like these bricks right here and all of the tough and all of this packed mud and such that is something we don't get a hold of very easily but i'm dang well gonna try and it's time to sleep okay this base is going to be the best thing i've ever built in survival minecraft according to me of course but then again, I'm the one who counts. You should always strive to build stuff for yourself, you know? If you build to please others, you're never gonna be happy with what you've done, right? If you build to please yourself, well, at least one person is going to like it. And that is guaranteed, okay? And I think that is what I'm going for here. This is going to be a very chaotic build. There's gonna be lots of colors. There's gonna be lots of different styles of buildings. It's a mishmash of everything I could think of and dream of. And I absolutely love the idea that I've come up with. So, hold tight for more mega base building here on the Basti Plays Minecraft channel. Woo! This has been a little bit of a shorter episode than I usually do. I mean, my episodes is usually around 20 to 30 minutes long and sometimes even 40 and up to an hour. But this time we're keeping it short and sweet. But boy, did we get a lot of stuff done. We made this chest monster area really pretty again. We even made a staircase. We made some roads. We built a bridge. I have gathered tons of materials. I even died once and lost all of my stuff, as you can see here. We've got the Creeper Bane 6. We got the Grass Picker, Silky Touchy 2. We've got Lucky Stick 2. We've got 3 Smasher 2. Everything had to be upgraded. Everything except my netherite stuff. I never even really explained how I died. You see, I got hit with the worst combo in Minecraft. The old Skeleton Creeper combo. A creeper blew up, but a skeleton had the chance to kill me first, so the creeper just blew up my stuff. Absolutely fun times! We love Minecraft! It's such a good game sometimes, but, you know, it's a mechanic, so we have to live with it. And, unfortunately, people, I think this is going to have to be the end of this episode for me! And you know what? You are beautiful, and such an amazing person for watching my content and doing what you do. You guys are really supportive and really, really nice. 
Now, just remember that Basti loves you and I wish you a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And until I see you next time, bye.